and they don't send the lawyers to jail because we run the country. Do you run the country? Still do. I love it. Still do. <laughs> I should say some lawyers run the country. <laughs> so you are, you are some of them? Two of them? Yeah, a small amount. We're still yes. members of a, of a privileged, privileged <laughs> class in this yes. country. So how, what does it mean you run the country? Uh, it means you... We make the laws, and when we do so, we make them in a way that is advantageous to the lawyers. Two ways. We make the laws, and some people say we selectively enforce the laws. Another way to look at it is uh, the old adage, a good lawyer knows the law, and a great lawyer knows the judge. Okay. Now, in point of fact, I went to law school with half the judges who sit on the New York State Supreme and the Federal District Court in New York. This happens that way over time. People right. you knew, people you have lunch with, people you're members of the Bar Association. Are they going to throw a case for you? No, but they are they going to bend over backwards to be courteous to you? Yes, yes, they are. If his name now would appear in connection with buying some real estate here and other items, it would look at least uh, very, very embarrassing. Right, because his presumably his salary in uh, wherever it is would not cover the kinds of acquisitions he's well, For sure, that's the salary of a teacher here. And so how can we make sure that he is being able to, to buy property here and to live a nice life, mm -hmm. but his name being out? Right. So when you're buying in New York, you would probably want a New York LLC. Any problems with uh, setting it up? Who would own the LLC? So Who is presumably we would set up a... a, a, a a little bit of a series of owners to try and again protect privacy as much as anything else. Yeah. Um, so company A is owned by company B, which is owned jointly by company C and D, and your party owns uh, all of or the majority of the shares of C and D. So we we create several companies. Yes. You'd probably be better off with a smaller bank because that, the, that would be a possibility. Because the bigger banks are much more. Uh, uh, serious about looking into that stuff. That reputation. Right. Yes. And there may be other banking systems um, that are less rigorous yeah. on this than the U.S. What would it be? A num number of possibilities. England has gotten recently very tough on this stuff too. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, usual banking havens, I think, would be ones you would want to consider. We could provide you the list of countries where the banking systems um, require less uh, detail on ownership or, or source of funds. You'd set up a Delaware corporation. corporation to own the real estate. That's right.